Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 680. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 673 to 682. In this trick here, we want to see how to add scenario buttons to the uh, quick access toolbar or to a ribbon, which is new in 2010. <clears throat> scenarios, we want to look at scenarios too. Um, we have some revenues and here's our expenses. And look at this here is a formula that's based on that input. These formulas are all based on these inputs here. And we want to be able to not only have these, but other assumptions saved. So to save this set of assumptions, I'm going to highlight this and then go up to Data in 2007 or 10. Data Tools, What If Analysis, way over here. And that's way off the screen. I have my screen really small here. Data, data tools, what if analysis, it's still, anyway, so scenario manager right there is still off the screen. Oh, I guess it's not off the screen. And then click add. I'm going to call this set one. Changing cells, there they are, already highlighted. Click OK. Click OK. Click close. Now let's just change them. This is uh, 0.17. This is 0 0.2, 0 0.04, 0 0.29, and 0.55. Highlight this and go do the same thing. Data, data tools, what if, scenario manager, add, set to. Now you could have as many as you want. This really is an amazing feature. If you're doing budgets or whatever calculations, cost accounting, and you have various assumptions. It's just awesome to do this. Now, you could go back up to Data Tools, What If Analysis Scenario Manager, and then Show. Use the Show button. But I want to show you how to add a button. I'm going to click, right click the Quat, Quick Access Toolbar, and I'm going to say Customize Toolbar. We're going to go to All. Why this isn't the default, I don't know. I'm going to click here and hit S to jump to the S's. And SC should be right there. Not Scenario Manager, but that Scenario one. I click Add. And then down at the bottom, down at the bottom, there's an OK. So now I have my little uh, scenarios, and I can just simply go like that. Beautiful. And you can have a uh, you know, a number of scenarios up there. Now to the ribbon, let's just say we want to add a new group. Um, right click the ribbon and customize ribbon new in 2010. I'm going to say, uh, oh, and down over here are all the ribbons. This is also how you can turn on the developer ribbon, which doesn't come by default. I'm going to uncheck this. I'm sorry, the home. And right down here at the bottom, if I can actually get to this on the screen, new group. And I'm going to call this uh, right here, rename. I'm going to call this scenarios. This would be a silly, let's just say I do this all the time and I'm always on the home ribbon, right? But scenarios. Uh, click OK. I, I wouldn't do it this way, but I want to show you how to add something to the ribbon. I do it on the, the toolbar, but um, now once we have this group, now we can go over and get a button. Really the quick access toolbar is better because no matter where you are, you can access that button. That's the advantage of the. So there's the S's, the SC standard. Let's see, does C letter or C comes before? And then add, and then click OK. Right, so if you had your um, ribbon showing all the time, right? Look, there it is. You like it there instead of there. And then you just click boom and then set one. Let's see if I can. Uh, Anyway, we can sort of see them changing down here. That's a big button. Look at that. Now I have an awesome scenario button right on my home ribbon. All right, uh, scenario buttons for the quat or the uh, um, ribbon. We'll see you next trick.